Okay, there we go. So welcome everybody um, to this is Alice Jones Reiki share. Um, and I think we might have one new person, uh, maybe wrong, maybe you've been before Anna Christina. Um, but welcome everybody. I think I recognize everybody else's um, faces and names. So um, like I said, Alice will probably join in a little bit later. I'm going to be leading this morning. And um, what I what I wanted to do this weekend because it's Memorial Day weekend is um, I was just thinking in terms of that and you know we we know and we think of a Memorial Day here in our country as a day to honor the those people that have served the soldiers and especially those that you know have been fallen soldiers and given their their lives and so um, today I wanted to honor the internal soldiers uh, the parts of us who have done battle in the past and maybe suffered an injury or um, been wounded and carried the burden. And um, even some parts of us may have um, like stayed behind energetically and to kind of carry that burden so the rest of us could move forward in life. And um, so part of the soldier's creed is I will leave no fallen comrade behind. And so today, as we go through our Reiki practice and the different chakras, um, we're going to honor the service of those parts of ourselves that may be left behind, um, may be wounded, and um, just kind of give gratitude and honor and perhaps invite those parts of us to rejoin. And so um, I guess with that said, um, we'll go ahead and get started. I guess I'll do kind of like an invocation, a prayer, if you will. And so let me do that. Uh, we just call on the creator or higher power, the creator of everything and all that is to be present with us today with each of us here. And uh, may all of us be protected uh, with our guardian angels and other um, beneficial beings who would surround us and surround the energy of this group and let it be a sacred space for a healing for all of us. And may each person receive today exactly what they need to receive. And we give gratitude in advance for the healing that has happened, that is happening in this moment, and that will continue to happen. Um, okay, so we'll open with a just kind of an energy balancing exercise. Um, and what I would like everyone to do, you might want to put, put your hands out. And so what we'll do is we'll do some nice deep breathing, you know, diaphragmatic breathing. And maybe even just to get started, we'll just do a few of those just to kind of settle in and quiet our minds. And so ideally, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, um, it's, it's just, I'm losing my train of thought here with the name of the a thing you're, um, it'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, when we do the breathing, let's do a, a nice long inhale to the count of four. But when we do the exhale, I would like you to do it to the count of eight, so much slower exhale. And so everyone just kind of imagine just being quiet in your mind, settling into your body, noticing your breathing. And so let's take a nice deep inhale. Hold it for a moment. And then on the exhale, just nice long, twice as long. The vagus nerve is what I was trying to think of. We have a vagus nerve that runs up the core of our body. And when you do a nice long exhale like that, it relaxes the vagus nerve. So again, taking a nice deep breath and hold it. And then a slow exhale. On the exhale, you might even wanna do it through your mouth and let that come out nice and slow. One more time. Hold it. Exhale. And now with your hands sort of extended to your sides with your palms up as if to receive, what I'd like us to do is in through our crown, let's breathe in some nice cleansing, pure energy. And I'd like you to send it from your crown to your non-dominant hand, whichever that is, just send it to the palm of that hand. So again, a nice, long, deep breath in. And send it to that non-dominant hand. And you can imagine a little ball of light may sort of be in your palm and we'll get that ball of light to 
grow as we do a few more breaths. So another nice inhale. Send it to your palm. And see that ball of light just expand a little bit, maybe glow a little bit more. And then through the crown again, nice inhale. And exhale to your palm. And see that bright ball of glowing light. And now I'd like you to take that hand and that ball of light that you've been building up and let's place it in our heart. You can physically move your hand to your heart. And so now let's send energy from our crown directly to our heart. Nice breath in. And exhale to the heart center. Nice breath in. Exhale to your heart. Feel that maybe starting to warm up a little bit or glow. One more to the heart. And exhale to the heart. And now from your heart, let's send it to your dominant hand. It's palm still out here upraised. Just shoot that ball of light over all the way down your arm to that dominant hand. And maybe it starts to tingle and warm a little bit. Breath in. To your hand. One more breath in to your hand. And that's, let's take that ball of light now in your dominant hand and let's put it down to your root. And you can physically move your hand there if you'd like. And so breathe in through your crown and now let's send it to our root. Nice breath in. Exhale to the root. Maybe you'll feel that starting to spin a little bit. Some energy moving there. Nice breath in. Send it to the root. And now from the root, let's send it to your non-dominant foot. Just down to the sole of your foot. So just breathe in through your crown. Send it through the root and down to the sole of your non-dominant foot. Nice breath in, pull in that energy through your crown. Down to the root and to your foot. Maybe the soul starts warming up a little bit. Feel a little tingling energy there. One more breath in through the crown. Down to that non-dominant foot soul. And now from that foot, let's send it to your other foot from soul to soul. Breathe in. One foot to the next. And breathe in. And exhale to one foot to the other. And breathe in. One foot to the next, soul to soul. And finally, let's breathe in and take the energy now in your dominant foot and let's just send it down directly into the earth to ground ourselves. So nice breath in through the crown and release it down through the foot, sending that energy to the mother earth anchoring us firmly to her. One more breath in through the crown, down through your foot and then to the earth, deeper and deeper. Excellent. Okay, that's just been a little bit of a grounding and balancing exercise. So now let's begin the actual Reiki and we'll send it first to ourselves and send as much and as long to yourself as you need it. And then as you're 
willing and able when I give the instruction, we'll share Reiki energy to each other in the group. So in this case, again, I want to focus on going through each chakra. And as we make each stop through this sort of tour, we'll ask that chakra, is there some fallen soldier aspect of ourselves, some wounded part of ourselves at this chakra, crown, third eye, throat, heart, <clears throat> solar plexus, sacral, and root that we need to honor and that we can invite maybe to join us back. So close your eyes, get comfortable, and we're just going to Breathe in this beautiful golden healing energy through our crown. And we'll start at our crown. So everyone just take a nice deep breath in. Send that love and energy to your crown. And as you do, just ask your crown that question. Is there some part of myself, <clears throat> whether it's from my childhood, my adolescence, my young adulthood, my adulthood or even a past life is there some part of my soul energy here at this chakra who maybe has been carrying the burden for the rest of us and if so as you continue to just breathe in through your crown i'll let you do that at your own pace see if you get an answer and as you pull in that beautiful golden white light through your crown send some of that love to that part of yourself and if you don't get an answer for some reason just send that love and energy to your crown and ask it to release anything that it may be carrying that's no longer serving you and so i'll just be quiet as you do that Just continue nice, deep breathing. And if you do get an image or a memory, just realize that you can view it at a distance now. It's not anything that's happening to you currently, but if something comes up, just see if you can step back and just watch as an observer and send love and gratitude to that part of yourself that faced that challenge or that battle and may have been carrying that wound for you. I just thank it for its service and let it know that it's part of the whole and it's welcome back. We're just remembering that our crown is part of our connection to the divine. And any wound that anybody's done to your crown is probably inadvertent. And maybe they were wounded themselves. Because all of us have a connection to the divine and that's our birthright to reclaim that connection and to allow that to flow through our lives and to be a beacon of light to others here among the group and in the world that we live in. So just send love and gratitude to the divine for giving us this life 
in this chance that we have here and to master some of these painful lessons that we've all, all of us have faced in different ways at different times. But nothing can take away that divine connection unless we let it. And nothing is stronger than love and gratitude. And as you feel ready and able, if you've taken care of what your own needs, <clears throat> you can send some love and healing energy to the crowns of other people in the Reiki Share group. And all of us can support those wounded soldiers that have been carrying the burden in others. The Namaste, I see the divine in you. And so I honor your wounds as well. And collectively, we gather up the fallen comrades of our souls and help carry each other back. And we just send a round of welcomes and open invitations to these parts of ourselves to be open to healing when the time is right and to be open to reintegrating with the whole of our soul. And as you are ready to move on, if you need more time for that part, stay there. But if you're ready to move on, we'll now pull in some beautiful golden white light healing energy from the divine through our crowns and we'll send it to our third eye, our center of intuition. our center of knowing, dreams, and visions. And so ask your third eye, is there some part of me who's had a wound in this area in the past, maybe from somebody who wanted to squash my dream, maybe somebody who doubted my own sense of self and life purpose, maybe my own self-doubt of my life purpose. And if that's the case, just send love to that part of you that may be carrying that wound. Give gratitude for the burden it has carried and ask it if it's ready to join back with the whole. And just continue your nice deep breathing, pulling in through the crown and sending that healing energy to the third eye. And you may imagine an indigo or violet color there just growing in its strength and vibrating in just a beautiful circular motion. Giving you clear vision
maybe even given you clearer vision about a scenario that may have happened with somebody around this area. Bringing your current wisdom to that situation. Maybe allowing some forgiveness. And as we allow this part of ourselves to reintegrate, this part brings with it the vision that it's been holding, the dream that it held on to for us. And as we honor its service, it can bring back those gifts to the whole. Just continue your breathing deeply and pulling in that beautiful healing energy and sending that to your third eye. And maybe watching that area spin brighter and brighter. Coming back to life and clearing anything that's no longer serving you. And as you feel ready and able, you can send some love and healing energy. And again, gratitude, honoring the service to the third eye of others here in the Reiki Share group. Acknowledging the parts of themselves too who may have suffered and been left behind and inviting all parts of us to be present here now and to come and join in collectively as a group to heal. And as you feel ready, we're now gonna start sending beautiful healing energy to our throat chakra. And you may see that appear as a blue area, could be anything from a bright royal blue to a very beautiful soft aquamarine blue, maybe a turquoise, maybe the color of the ocean, whatever resonates for you. Go ahead and pull in healing energy through your crown Send it down to your throat, and as you do, ask your throat chakra, is there any part of myself here who's been carrying a wound that I may have even inadvertently and unknowingly left behind? 
carrying that burden for the rest of me. And in particular in this chakra, I say it may be a wound you're even carrying over from a past life. There may be a scenario in that life or in this life where you came to speak your truth and you did so and you were punished for it, maybe ostracized, maybe even literally shut up in some way. And if any part of your soul energy is still there and that trauma carrying that burden, let it know that we're, you're so grateful that it took that wound for the team and that you honor it and you respect it and you see it and you hear it and you invite it back into the whole of yourself. So just breathe in that healing energy through your crown and send it to that part of yourself that carries your truth, that carries your personal integrity, that carries your ability to communicate that to yourself and to the world. You can speak the truth to that part of yourself, which is that you love that part of yourself as it's part of the whole. And you can let that part of yourself know that you're willing to hear that truth, whatever got left behind. And you're even willing to speak that truth today if it needs to come out. You have more strength and courage now than you did back then. And that's why we just give love and gratitude to those parts of ourselves who didn't have that strength and courage at the time. And as you feel ready and able, you can send some love and gratitude to the throat chakras of each other person who's either with us today in this Reiki share or maybe watching this later. Letting those parts of each person know that they are loved and honored for their service and their sacrifice and they're welcome to join back in the whole.
And as you feel ready and able, we're going to now move down into the heart chakra, our center of love and healing, peace and harmony. And who among us has not had a wound in this area of our lives, whether from a parent, whether from a sibling, whether from a teacher, whether from someone we loved who wasn't ready or able or willing to love us, or maybe someone who did love us and betrayed us, or maybe in a way we failed to love and honor ourselves. And so now just ask for healing energy to be sent through your crown, down to your heart, the beautiful glowing pink or green chakra energy center that you may see starting to spin. And just ask your heart chakra, which part of me wants to step forward, who may have, I may have inadvertently left behind to carry the pain of that injury in my heart, of feeling unloved and unwanted. And may I see that situation now clearly for what it was, what I needed to learn, or maybe just see this pain and suffering of the person who injured me and have some compassion toward them and maybe some forgiveness. And even if the pain in your heart may be about a disappointment you may feel or a hurt actually with the divine itself, maybe there's some sort of wound there that needs healing to allow the love of the creator to flow freely through you and be received. I'll just share some imagery I'm getting in case this resonates for anybody else, but I'm seeing a sense of almost like triaging, somebody triaging and treating the wounded, like a nurse or a doctor, kind of dressing the wounds and with such love and care and tenderness, just nursing this part of us back to health. And we can do this for ourselves. And we can do this for others. Just continue breathing in through your crown and just sending that directly to this pink or green energy center. 
clearing out anything that's no longer serving you and making peace with the past. And as you feel ready and able, send that same love and gratitude and honor to the heart chakras of everyone else here in this Reiki group today and who may later watch to heal those wounds in each one of us and to invite those burden carrying parts of us to let go of the burden and feel welcome back and bringing back the capacity to love that energy that got left behind that we need so much today to join us the spontaneous loving part of us who may be held back a little bit because of, of the wound it was carrying but that was the loving beautiful innocent part of ourselves that we need to come back and join us today that gives love freely and trusts. And so may each of us heal in this area. And as you're ready, we're going to move down into the solar plexus, the yellow core of energy that's the center of our personal power, our self-esteem, our strength and courage. And so as you start pulling in divine white light or golden healing energy and sending it to this golden ball that is your center of power and strength, ask your solar plexus if there's some aspect of yourself, some memory stuck in time, some situation that happened, that some little piece of you stayed behind and carried that burden. And some little piece of your power stayed behind that you gave away to somebody else innocently and maybe even unwillingly. Maybe you had no choice at that time and some little part of you may have stayed behind carrying that situation. And you can tell that little piece, you know what, it's okay to bring that power back to me and to us. You don't have to stay there anymore in that situation. And we could sure use that power in the whole today. We don't need to give it to that other person any longer. We don't need to leave it stuck in that memory or situation any longer. It can come home. And as you do this, you may feel that power growing in this area. Pulling back in that strength, that courage. And bolstering and strengthening what you already had. But just adding to it a little bit more. allowing the yellow center of energy to grow and glow, spinning clearer and clearer.
And as you feel ready and able, please send some healing energy and some honor to the solar plexus of everyone else in the Reiki share. Honoring those parts of themselves who were carrying burdens and were diminished in power. But asking those parts to join the whole and feeling that power solidified and strengthened. Coming back into the formation. And now as you feel ready, let's move down into the sacral chakra below our belly button. The orange ball of energy, that's the center of our emotions, our creative energy, both our ability to create new life and our ability to create and manifest our dreams and our life purpose here in this world. And as you send love and light to the orange ball of your soul, of your um, sacral chakra, stop and ask it, is there some part of myself here who stayed behind and maybe became afraid of this creative energy? Maybe others questioned me or judged me. And this may be the, the very joyful, brilliant little child part of yourself that was so full of curiosity and joy and exploration and had ideas and imagination. And maybe that little child, or maybe even a past life part of yourself, or even as an adult, somebody may have made you question how creative you were or whether your talents were any good. And to that part of yourself, I say, send love and honor. And the knowing that you are creative, no matter what anybody has ever said to you or done to you, this is a right from the divine, our creator, from whom creative energy flows. And it is your birthright to reclaim this part of yourself and to reclaim that joy and that sense of curiosity and happiness and to allow that to flow out into the world because this is the part of us that manifests into the physical dimension. So let us honor that part of ourselves today. And you may want to reach out and imagine physically giving a hug to this part of yourself and sending so much love to this part of yourself that may have been wounded and carrying that pain and maybe even a little fear or shame about it. You are creative and you have that right and no one can take it from you. And just give yourself a hug, even physically, just give yourself a hug.
And as you feel able, send some love and healing energy to the sacral chakras and the wounded soldiers and each of us who have been carrying those burdens and invite each of those parts of ourselves to bring that fantastic, magical, creative energy back to the whole in each one of us. And as you feel ready, let's now send this divine healing and honor the service of those parts of our root chakra, the red ball of energy at the base of our torso that connects us to Mother Earth, that is our center of safety and security. And so as you send healing energy there, ask your root chakra and you will get an answer. Is there some part of myself who at some point felt threatened or unsafe, insecure and fearful and scared part of me? And just send so much love and gratitude to that piece of you who carried that burden and faced that battle so that the rest of you could move on in life and let that piece of you know you are not forgotten and you are loved and welcome back at any time you feel safe and let it know you're doing your very best each and every day to create a life that is safe and secure and grounded and connected to this earth, even though we are beings of light, that soul energy is encased in this body while we are here. And this body gets its sustenance and security from the earth. And we know that we will be provided for like the lilies of the field. And we don't have to carry the burdens of worry and fear. So honor these parts of yourself and let them know they are loved and welcomed. You are safe here. This is a safe environment. And we are surrounded by love and light all around each and every one of us right now.
And as you feel able, please send some love and healing to the root chakras of everyone else here in this Reiki share. May they feel strengthened. May they feel courage. May they feel safe and secure wherever you are right now. Knowing you're surrounded by the love of the divine and the love of people in this group and the love of those in your life who care about you. And may that be enough just for today. And as you feel ready and able, slowly just bring yourself back into the room, into the moment, welcoming back parts of yourselves that may have felt abandoned and unseen and unheard for years. May they know today they were seen and heard. And just remember this is a healing process there may have been healing happen right here in this session, but it may be a process where you have just opened the door to these parts of yourselves and let them know and reminded them that they are loved, seen, and honored, and welcomed at any time to be part of your soul energy. And so just bring yourself back into this moment. You may want to rub your hands together or rub your eyes, rub your feet on the ground. And welcome back. Nice deep breath. Just kind of stretch, smile. And I'll just kind of wrap this up. We'll share, but I just want to close with our Reiki principles. So I'm going to read these out loud, and you can either say them out loud with me or just say them silently to yourself. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will do my work honestly. And just for today, I will be kind to every living being, including myself. Okay, everybody, I hope people had some good experiences. And if anyone wants to share, I'm going to pull the chat up here. Um, if anyone doesn't want to be recorded, you can let me know and I'll pause it. Um, and if anybody has to leave sooner than later, you can write the word stack in the chat and you can go first. So if anybody wants to do that, I'll let you share. And if you want to share something that you experienced, that would be wonderful. No one's saying stack, so I'll just call on somebody. Um, let's start with Julie. morning um i just want to tell you i'm like profoundly grateful really beautiful meditation and so powerful it feels definitely like you were um divinely connected because it's it, it it's so subtle but it's so so powerful and it was interesting i've had different healers and people say that certain chakras need to be worked on and I've been trying and working but I have to say this is one that really really got in touch and made me very aware the wounded so soldier image is just so appropriate it 
it, and it's very profound. Mm -hmm. I could really tell the chakras that were clear and didn't have much. Mm. And it really made the juxtaposition of that made me really feel that the, the ones that were wounded, like I literally feel like it's aching, <laughs> but in a good way. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, my heart, my root, <laughs> solar plexus really need more work. And mm. if you have any fur, like I want to do this every, I was going to say every day, that would be my life, but at least once a week because um, there's more work to do. You can separate. always, I, what I found to be very helpful, I find this works well for me, is um, when you ask a question of yourself, some part of yourself, if you listen, you'll get an answer. You know, we all carry our own internal wisdom, and I think we all have the secrets to our own healing. And so, um, and so I think it's more a matter of just asking the asking the question and being willing to listen. And you almost always get an answer. Like when I did the thing, the musical thing, and Alice was like, I'm not gonna get a song, but she got songs. <laughs> and so if you if you will just take the time to ask yourself the question, you'll get an answer. And so you just have to- Do you think, I almost felt too, sorry to interrupt you, but- No, it's like, I'm saying, you can do it at any it time is, is my point. You don't have to be led by me or anyone. Like you can just- Yeah, like, no. But also your, maybe writing to oh, them or, might okay. be an idea. You can write, you can journal, sure. Just the, the, write the question the and wait yeah. for the answer and you can journal it if that works. Bless you. Thank you. Thank sure, you. Julie. Thank you. Okay. So Shar needs to go next. How about that? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I just, sure. just saw the time and I have an 11 o'clock family call. So, mm -hmm. um, but thank you so much, Paula. That was okay. truly remarkable and beautiful. And um, really, um, I really enjoyed honoring this the the weekend and the the holiday around it um and i quite honestly have always kind of been at a loss to know how to aside from just basically meditating and praying for you know all of those uh, people that either i know or know of who suffered greatly um uh, during uh, their service in the military or whatever so um and i never really had made the analogy to you know our own wounds that it was always seemed um, relatively um, benign compared to some of the people I know who lost significant either lost their lives or you know mobility et cetera et cetera so it was really um, it was a really well thought through and very well structured meditation in the sense that I was present for myself and all parts of myself not just physically but the um, you know, looking back on the decades and, and identifying those parts of myself that fell into that category. And then at the same time, my awareness was with all of those um, people who have served, yeah, soldiers, and then also all of us together. So just really profoundly, um, uh, like uh, Julie said, I'll reiterate, just really beautiful and uh, very well done. Your voice and your tenor of your voice and the pace of your voice uh, it's just really nice. So thank you so much for sharing your um, your talent. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I think soldiers sometimes leave literal body parts. I mean, even if they survive the ones, you know, the, some of them are left behind their whole body. They didn't make it in there in another country. Some leave a part of themselves behind physically, but all of them leave a little piece of their soul, I think, you know. Absolutely. And so maybe, you know, this weekend we can send love and healing to any people that you know that have served and they, they have a wound, they have internal wounded soldiers too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank how you about, so you're welcome. Thank you, Char. How about Alice? You want to share? And by the way, um, Barb says her speaker's broken, so she can't share and um, Danielle had to leave. So. Okay. Well, again, thank you, Paula. Um, this was, I, I've said it before, but uh, I find these meditations phenomenal, and I especially resonate with the sound of your voice and the cadence and mm -hmm. the imagery and, and everything. And uh, my uh, today, and I think it's because I'm split between wanting to be here and then wanting mm -hmm. to be with your family. family and listening mm -hmm. to all the family noise in the background and, and everything. Cause my son, my daughter, my grandbaby, and two mm -hmm. of his employees came in mm -hmm. and did a French drain for me. So oh, wow. I've been, uh, I've been working with having five people in the house for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the better part of the week. <laughs> First time I've done that in a gazillion years. And mm -hmm. so it seemed like it was nothing but 
work around the clock Mm -hmm. for me. And uh, so I really, to me, it was like, this is critical that I be here, that I just calm down and and come into this rest. And when I stepped in, you were on the crown. Mm -hmm. And, and so I really got the benefit of, I think, most of the meditation. Mm -hmm. But what surprised me is the image that came in through my crown. Because usually I just get brilliant white light and, you know, light and joyous. And when I was in 10th grade, I was in a private girls school and there was, we had special guest speakers and there was a gentleman who came in who talked about war. And I, I just never forgot his opening statement. Mm. Three words, war is hell. Mm -hmm. And I no matter how proud the you know military is of its service Mm -hmm. those three words color everything for me Mm -hmm. and uh and so because again my parents lived through the war in poland and were both Mm -hmm. uh, my dad i guess was captured for a very short time and was forced to work in the concentration camps. So, mm-hmm. uh, so he was, mm-hmm. but he escaped. Mm-hmm. But the um, the only thing that I wanted to share was that the uh, imagery of of war, uh, all all I saw was just battlefield and mm-hmm. you know and bombs going up and you know the mushroom cloud and mm-hmm. and uh, everything. But um, and the thought went through my head that 200 years from now, they're they're going to look upon this age and those who supported war mm-hmm. as barbaric, mm-hmm. you know, just like we look upon the An- Neanderthals mm-hmm. as barbaric yeah, or the Vikings and, or somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're mm-hmm. going to look upon us as barbaric mm-hmm. and everything. But but 200 years from now, this this will all be behind us. And we will be fully in our thing of peace. But the the only other image that that I thought was absolutely fabulous, because all my life I've had trouble with my throat chakra, Mm -hmm. never fully accepting my role as a teacher, as a healer, and always, uh, you know, having to work at at that. I saw two bluebirds and it said bluebird of happiness and blue the color of the throat chakra. Mm-hmm. So I, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm almost, I think I'm there, yeah. mm, but, but that came through today and it was, it was wonderful and, and got an image for every single chakra. But again, it was, mm. it was just wonderful. Paula. Excellent. And I so thank you for taking the theme of the wounds because who of us doesn't have wounds throughout our body through mm-hmm. all our past lives, which are really all being lived simultaneously. So mm-hmm. who of us, you know, doesn't need work in that. So that was mm-hmm. fabulous. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Um, Anna Christina had said stack, but I think she's had to leave. So um, uh-huh. how about let's go to Sherelle. Would you like to share anything? Hi there, Sherelle. Yes. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Paula. That was so <laughs> wonderful. I mean, I just, the images that came to mind were things that I have, I guess I've been in subconsciously in me that I've been trying to work through some inner child stuff Mm -hmm. and just never got like the clear images. But today (laughs) I got very clear images and like reminders of like, this is when this happened and this is why you do this. Mm -hmm. And so just giving myself the love and knowing that I can heal and and the healing is happening was Mm -hmm. absolutely, I just, just so magical. So thank you. And then the thought of, um, like the whole wounded soldier imagery, like everyone has said, is just so powerful. Like, I think I thought about how much I would go to war with myself Mm -hmm. when really I just needed to give myself love and Mm -hmm. and just grace and honor and care. So Mm -hmm. just amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my pleasure. How about Ashley? Hey, um, good morning, everyone. Sorry, my camera is off. No worries, it's okay called to turn it on right now but uh, I just want to thank you so much Paula I really appreciated your energy and your presence Mm -hmm. um, during the meditation and um, I think I I immediately started to feel 
inner the energy like physically flowing mm -hmm. through the chakras I got some like scenic imagery of different places which um I think tends to happen to me periodically but I think they were more vivid this time mm -hmm. like places in the past or um what have you but I'm just noticing right now um as I sit like how much better I feel like mm -hmm. I had kind of gotten up kind of fairly recently <laughs> before mm -hmm. starting this and mm -hmm. I just feel much better I feel okay. um, a lot more balanced and everything so I I really appreciate um I really appreciated you and the meditation. Sure. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you joined. Thank you. How about Karen? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I feel different. <laughs> uh, yes. And I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to doing this again. Um, it's on Alice's website. The past. Yeah, she posts the, uh, these are recorded, and then um, I, I don't know how long it takes to get them up, but she, I've seen on her website, um, there's a link, and it may be, is it in the emails that come out to us too? I forget if there's a, a link to click, but somewhere you've got a link I've seen, Alice, it says past recordings, and you click on it, and there's a whole bunch of them. So any of the ones that we've done, you can go back and revisit anytime. Yes, thank you for doing it. It really resonated with me. Oh, good. Thank you for coming. appreciate it. How about Robin? Well, I'm, I'll reiterate that I was very grateful for the experience of, of your meditation. I, I got, I'll be honest, I was a little biased. I was like, come oh, but this is, I love doing this with Alice. I don't know if I want to, I was like, well, I'm going to try it because I'm available at 10. Let me, mm. let me check this out. And mm. like everyone said, it was, it was very powerful. It was exceptionally cathartic to me. I found that um, I appreciate the prompts about um, the reminders about what uh, energetically is going on with each chakra. And that um, for me, it was revealing to see which chakra would bring up the most tears and kind of like, like, Ooh, I'm, like for me that I, I kind of like it when I get emotional because for a while I couldn't bring myself to cry. And so for me, that like, that's my body's way of saying, Oh, we hit a nerve. That's, that's something right. you want to look at. You know, right. right. Yeah. right. It's cathartic. No, sure. Grateful. How about um, Lisa? Hi. Um, I totally agree with Robin. Um, last, just last night, I had a burning ceremony where I wrote down the things that I needed to get rid of mm -hmm. with a black candle. And then with a white candle, I replaced it with the things that I'm refilling mm -hmm. with. So hearing this, it was, it felt like that final pit in the back of my neck was being lifted. Mm -hmm. And I, so thank you. It was very beautiful. Sure. Good. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Let's see. Um, Andrea? Uh, yeah, thank you, Pa. Um, just, you know, same, same experience. I'm grateful uh, for, I thought the imagery was amazing that, and the way you presented it. It was just same thing that everyone else has said, basically, but your voice is so soothing. Um, I, I've, I actually found myself dozing off at, at one point okay. <laughs> because I, I was it's just okay. so, and I, you know, I was just so, so into it. Um, but I just generally feel better. I went to see uh, my son not long ago. And since he came back, uh, since I came back, he's in a different state. Uh, you know, I was missing him a lot and feeling kind of down and I just felt better. I mean, I woke up feeling kind of, you know, uh, melancholy I guess but anyway I found it very relaxing and um overall I think it was exactly what I needed so thank you for that you're welcome yeah it's okay nobody needs to feel bad for dozing off it's you get yeah. what you need out of a session and if your body needed that relaxation or your mind did then I, th I believe people get what they what they need so how about um Judy good morning everybody you <laughs> Your kitty cat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Join in and enjoy your lovely voice. That was very beautiful, Paula. Um, I just have to say, I agree with everything that has been said. There's really nothing more to add other than what a honor it is to be together honoring us, our, ourselves, our fallen heroes, our heroes that have come back and have left vital parts of themselves behind, as you said. 
so many things, not only the physical, but the mental parts and mm -hmm. their fallen friends and family. I think of Memorial Day as a day of remembrance. I believe that's probably how it started to be remembering um, from the, you know, from the Civil War, I think is when it started. But there's so many wars that go mm -hmm. before that and after that. And one of the things I always love is going to see cemeteries and seeing how they honored the dead wherever I am. It is so powerful to have these monuments and these memories and realize that they are a part of our history. And it's, you stand in awe, especially too, if you've gone to some place or have relatives that are at um, Arlington, which I do. Um, and then to the most simple, just you're holding a piece of somebody in your heart, the way we honor the dead. And then to go deep in ourselves and, you know, to have been led through the inner child healing now for the wounded, um, parts of us, it's it's like all been progressing so beautifully. And with this group, it obviously enhances. But Paula, you do have such a gift for leading a, a, a so well thought out, mindful approach to the meditation, then to sending it to each other, then honoring the parts. And however we envisioned we did that, it was just remarkable and I thank you so much. Oh, I will never think of Memorial Day. I hardly do, but everyone thinks of it as the start of vacation and the beach and all that. I'm just like, no, it's honoring our our past and those who do step up to the plate so that we can all live these lives um, and with such honor. So thank you for remembering our soldiers and our heroes, um, whatever they look like, everyone plays a part in supporting the troops that they're not actually out there. And it is so powerful. We have been in this time of, they say, being woke. <laughs> I think this was a beautiful waking up moment to remember what is important about this, this weekend. And you let us know not only us, but all the people that have gone before us and are out there now helping to keep this life that we know safe mm -hmm. for, for the world. Mm -hmm. And that we, if even if it's just the support of us sending it to the earth and sending that loving heart energy, um, that we're very important too. So that's that honoring yourself for where you are today. First. Yeah, we we all have our own internal heroes. I think you know each each, yeah. each one of us is a hero just for making it through every day. <laughs> like life is hard, you know, and we all have challenges. Like I said, we've all had broken hearts and you know all suffered wounds. And so everyone that makes it through and doesn't give in is a hero every day. And then there's parts of us, I think internally that really are the heroes and stepped up and kind of took the grenade for the team. And the and the, the rest of us was able to keep moving forward in life, but there's little bits and pieces of us that we've left here and there along the road. And sometimes it's like remembering those parts of ourselves and be like, yeah, wait a minute. We left that part of us behind, come back, come back. So anyway, how about, let's see, Karen, Karen, sorry. All right. Uh, yes, it was. It was very, very beautiful. Thanks. It was actually very weird because I was distracted with so, so much mm. because we have two beautiful dogs today with us this weekend. Mm -hmm. One is a bully, right? Pitbull bully, and the other one is a XXL pitbull. Beautiful. Okay. And then, and then my mom just called me, and then I had allergy. The dog wants to go out. My husband. And I was like everything in once, but it's it, it's so nice because every time when I, I was distracted, I just could just jump back in, mm. and that actually never happened to me because mm. I always had like issues to jump back in and uh, and be focused. But it's all the time somebody distracted me or something distracted me, I just can jump back in, and I was Good. like you were in the flow. Okay. That was beautiful, <laughs> and I okay. saw a fallen. A fallen soldier, but mm. I don't know if it's from my from my family side or from right. one from here. I don't know, but I, I saw he was in very very big pain. Mm. It was like screaming. It was in the war somewhere, mm. and I tried to um to uh, transcend him. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. To yes, to you know, to right. a better place, and that hope it worked. <laughs> Mm. and yeah I, I made I made peace 
I, w I made peace with, with, with myself and with the others. And it, it was very, very beautiful and very powerful. Thank mm. you so, so much for this. Sure. It's very beautiful. Yeah, my Thank pleasure. you. Yeah, sure. I think, Liz, have we had you? You may be the last one. Did we, I think I haven't done you yet. Oh, there we go. I'm off mute. Um, I don't know if I could put you in a bottle next to my bed, Paula. Your voice <laughs> just so soothing and the cadence and it i'm able to go right into my meditation right away if there's something like a switch that you turn on so thank mm -hmm. you for that um mm -hmm. i felt a lot of energy very relaxing which is great i pulled a shoulder muscle gardening so mm -hmm. i really i really needed that but i thought the whole um the whole aspect of soul mm -hmm. retrieval um, and going through the different chakras to see which piece of that chakra may be missing and, and the ritual of welcoming it back, I thought it was just really beautiful. So thank you. Sure. My pleasure. I think, have I missed anybody? I think we've gone through everyone. I just thank all of you for, for making the time to join today and taking part of the holiday weekend out to do this. And um, I hope that um, the healing continues for everyone. And um, like I said, it's, it's something you can do at any time. You can always uh, meditate, get quiet, and, and ask yourself questions like that. And um, th there's always an answer. And I think it's just a good practice you can do whenever you want to. Sometimes it's good just to be quiet, but sometimes think of a question you want to work on, maybe about anything, you know, just something you're trying to get clarity around and just say, hmm, why is this happening? You know, and you'll usually get an answer. <laughs> so you may not like the answer. You may not want to hear it. Maybe that's why you haven't <laughs> been, been asking the question, but if you have the courage to ask the question, you'll get an answer. So uh, again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Alice, for putting this group together and allowing me to, to serve here for folks and um, everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>